the Internet of Things will be more and more important for the future because actually, actually we are talking about machine to machine, how to collect data from the machines, that's step one. And for the future, for the Internet of Things, we have to collect all the data, the data from the Internet, the data from the smartphones, and to combine for the future all these things, especially consumer-oriented, to new services. I believe that's the vision for the future. The, the differentiator between M2M and the Internet of Things is that M2M means more B2B driven actually to collect data from the machines and the Internet of Things you will combine the full world to collect the data and on top of it to analyze uh, the data to offer new services. I believe that's the next step to combine from the different silos to an umbrella view for new services. Compare M to M to the uh, IoT part is uh, means for me that uh, the IoT part will be the umbrella. M to M is a part of it. As you explained, we start with the M to M story, more silo driven, now more horizontal, independent of segments. And now the next step is to have a look what's going on the consumer side and to combine all the data. That's the reason why I believe that the IoT part, that's the 50 billion connected devices story independent uh, which type of connectivity you want to use. The question is which segment will be uh, the next uh, high score, the big data, the big part. I believe there is no, no big one, there will be many and you have to combine it. I believe actually the automotive industry is coming up strong, really strong. Uh, you will see in the next years, uh, private in your car, everybody will use it in this part. The same is coming up from the energy sector. It's not pure smart meter as how, what's going on with the renewable energy, with e-mobility, you will have to combine this. And that's the reason why I believe uh, that smart cities could be one of these umbrellas. Here you can combine the information from the B2B part for a parking system, public, public transport, together with information you can collect from the internet, what's happened with the weather, whether with the train, are there any delays, and to combine it in the right form. I believe to the combination of all of it, that will be the future. The Internet of Things to the economics and the political, I believe will be strong for the future, as you can see what was happened the last six months, uh, uh, to, to make the world smarter, uh, the uh, connected life and work, and you know that's our vision. Uh, we have to connect the things in the right way, in the smart way, and it will influence uh, our daily work and our, also in the business work and private life. The political, the smart cities is also government driven. It will influence our overall world for the future. The Internet of Things outside uh, the big cities. Yes, for sure, as you know, we have developed a solution for the connected cows. And that's an ex uh, excellent example of how uh, you can use it outside uh, a city because normally you will not find uh, cows in the middle of a city. Uh, you will see it wherever in the world and uh, that's the next step.